Okay, I already forgot the job number to this because I started walking up this hill. <laughs> Got out of breath. I'm at Regents Park. This is for Management Trust. And there are two entrances to this property. Um, you've got this one off of 100, 100 Place Northeast, which is a private road in Northeast 12th Street. Then it dead ends. And on the opposite side down the hill is the next phase of their parking. So uh, I would imagine this, well, this driveway right here is Regent Park. This is for Cambridge Village on this side. Okay, so on this side right here, we're going to look at <clears throat> asphalt repair, concrete, and crack fill seal coat stripe. All right, so we're going to start off with this right here. Actually, this street that's out here is 100th Avenue Northeast. Okay, so we're on the west side of the property. You can see there's construction going on right now down there, so I couldn't drive up here from there. All right, so we're going to walk in. We're going to look at these repairs. This is a private driveway right here and I believe it probably starts right about here where the city sidewalk ends okay I'm gonna include this as a repair it's been done once before but it looks like it wasn't compacted very well and uh, started to sink so we're gonna go over that patch and we're gonna go all the way to let's see here uh, we could probably keep it we could keep it from the very edge there, but we will have to probably cut from right about here. So there'll be about a foot. Ah, let me see here. You know what? Let's just do it right. Let's just rip out this half of the roadway here. Okay, so we're gonna go for a nine foot wide, starting at the catch basin right here, and go all the way down. Okay, so it's 46 feet by nine. That 46 feet starts from that catch basin and then it cuts just short of this first big tree that you see here in the middle, okay? 46 by nine, that means we go all the way to the edge and we come all the way out just past this uh, existing seam line here, okay? The water's supposed to kind of travel this direction, this way, and as you can see right here, kind of right about the crest of the hill here. This is at the top, then everything starts to flow downhill. Okay, so right at this point, we want that water to kind of continue flowing this direction. And, um, <clears throat> and then ultimately over to that catch basin right there. Okay. Um, so you've got that repair. Uh, power washing. It'd be one day of power washing in here to clean up everything on the sides. Kind of clean up some of these curbs here. All right. And then we'll seal coat underneath these carports. So you've got carports here, carports there, and then it dead ends at the fence. All right, crack fill. Total crack fill for both properties. Uh, we've got about 600 feet of crack fill. We've got stalls, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, plus 13. So there's 26 parking stalls up here. All of them have an eight inch reserved stenciled inside of it. <clears throat> okay. Um, that day of power washing is going to definitely help for this property and the one that's down below. Uh, asphalt repairs. This whole section in here has some different dips. You can see water's collecting in that area. You got some tree root, going, tree root damage going on right there. So we're going to start off with doing a repair in this whole stall area here okay so we're gonna go 18 feet and bring it all the way out okay we're gonna bring it all the way out to this existing patch that's out here okay so we're gonna go 18 by 40 here and then we're gonna get this little section right here it's got some alligator cracking going on okay uh, just trying to see what else there is here that might be able to tie it in We'll do that whole thing 18 by 40 and then we're going to do this area right here which is an 18 by 22 okay so 18 by 22 and then bring it all the way out go all the way up so it'll be like a backwards l here 18 by 40 18 by 22 
and then uh, we'll want to fill in these seams. That's why I've got that 600 feet crack fill so we can do those seams. Uh, in this area right here, we got some alligator cracking going on and it's everywhere. So we're going to do from this patch here, we're going to go all the way from uh, just right about the seam line here. So right about just to the outside of the carports here, to the carport. Okay, so we got 24 feet wide here. We're gonna go all the way down to that catch basin. Okay, so we're gonna dig in that whole middle section and come out 80 feet and tie in right to this new asphalt that was done, okay? 80 feet by 24. Let's get all of this here. 80 feet by 24, one catch basin. We're looking at three inch depth. And then I told you all the striping there. So now <clears throat> you go down this path here and we don't have to seal coat this path or anything, but I'm basically walking through this little path to get to the next section of the property. Here's the upper property on the west. Here's the lower property on the east. And now I'm over on the other side where I couldn't drive through earlier this is a dead end as you can see project managers there's there's no parking supposedly here outside of the property we're going to do the asphalt repairs but imagine that uh we're going to be okay when we're doing asphalt repairs we don't need any traffic control or anything because this is a private drive that comes into here so we'll be able to get in and out of this section here. This says two hour parking, which uh, we'll be able to park here. This two hour parking, we'll be able to pull in right here if we need to. Um, we'll be able to also kind of park in this area too when we go to do any kind of asphalt repairs. As far as seal coating, no issues there. Um, all right, so now I'm in the lower end and I forget, that's 102nd Avenue Northeast out there 102nd avenue northeast you come up this dead end road and then you see this here for repair uh where i'm parked right now there's some tree root damage there um not a lot but you've got an eight by eight patch that's right underneath my car down in that area as far as stalls go one two three four five seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. All of them have reserves. So there's 24 eight inch reserve stencils in there. Um, one thing we also need to include is stall numbers. I can see that they're faded in here. I just don't know what the numbers say, but they are 12 inch numbers. Okay, so I had the 26 stalls that were up the upper level. Those also need 12 inch numbers. And then you got all these down here that need the stall numbers as well. Okay, let's look back into the tree root damage areas here. These two stalls, uh, the whole section here is damaged. Okay, so we've got uh, 19 feet here by 22. Okay, 19 by 22. Coming all the way out to that seam, overlap, and go right down that stall line. 18 by 22. In this area right here, we got some tree root damage in here as well. So in this area right here, this area in particular, we've got a 21 foot by 20. 21 by 20 right in here. Remove and replace, three inches. Okay, got some tree root damage that's right up there in that corner that we'll have to remove. Covered carports, as you can see. I have to seal coat all the way up to uh, the wall there. Concrete right there. As far as curbing goes, the curbing doesn't look too bad, so I didn't really see any curb repairs for us to have to do. Okay, uh, here's another uh, asphalt repair to do as well. Okay, what we're looking at right here is we're gonna bring it all the way out to here. Okay, so we're gonna go 14 by eight, 14 by eight right here in that stall at the entrance. Okay, that should do it. Uh, any other questions? Let me know. Um, asphalt should only take one day to do. Seal coat, probably doing two phases. 
do this one on one day and then do the other lot on another day we'll do the striping at the same time on each phase so seal coat stripe on this one one day seal coat stripe on another day include the crack fill on that power washing a separate power washing day to do both lots okay one one day of power washing to do both lots and uh, we will seal coat out to the end of the road here any other questions let me know